Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. We've got a free pick coming up in just a moment, and we are just three days away from the start of the college football season. Then we get college football every single week, every single weekend, all the way into December, and then of course the Bulls. So I'm really excited. Last year we were number one at DocSports.com in college football and NFL combined, hitting about 60% in both sports. We've been having a tremendous run uh, over the last few years. College football, 153 and 105. That's 59%. In the NFL, it's been awesome. 60 and 35, couple of pushes with our last 95 plus plays in the NFL. In our last 393 NFL plays, we are hitting 60% almost against the spread. So it's just been a tremendous run for a few years now, college and the NFL. Used to think a long time ago that the NFL was extremely tough. Listen, it still is, but we've had some real nice runs over the past few years, winning year after year for the past few years with our plays that we post online. Uh, so don't miss out. Go check out all the packages uh, season-wise, monthly, all that kind of stuff, college football in the NFL, and don't miss out on a single play uh, this season. Want to mention before we get into all the goods that the Doc Sports Journal is available. It's a real cool 160 page helpful tool to your handicapping for the upcoming season. One of the things I like is it's got that complete schedule from last year, uh, the results, stats, things like that. So it's an easy flip through the book when you want to look, look at how teams did against certain other teams, you know, potential revenge spots, that kind of stuff. I know revenge is an overused term in the world of sports betting, but still there are certain spots when you kind of see where teams might have circled the calendar uh, due to certain situations that happened the season before. All those statistics in that book, it's about 160 pages of great information. You've got awesome angles and trend situations uh, in college football and the NFL. Uh, and it's all broken down every week. Schedule is broken down week by week, weekend by weekend. And again, it's just something that's an invaluable piece of information that's right there uh, for you all put into one book of about 160 pages and it's not like an overwhelming amount of stuff on every single player in college football uh, that gets you kind of caught up in the analysis of everything you know I like to call it analysis by paralysis when there's too much information you just want to go uh, go in and grab the key most important parts of each and every game as far as I'm concerned in college football and the NFL that's what Doc Sports Journal allows you to do now here's the way you get it First of all, it's only 11 bucks, and you can go to the homepage of DocSports.com, and you will see uh, the link to the DocSports.com journal. You can have also, of course, call in to uh, customer service at DocSports. You'll see the uh, toll-free number, of course, over at DocSports.com. Tell them you want that DocSports journal. You can Google the DocSports journal, and that'll come up. You click on it, takes you a link to where you got to go uh, to enter your information, and again, get that booklet for only $11. Pretty cool. I ran out. I passed a bunch out of radio shows I've been doing, so I don't have one to show you for example, but I got a couple uh, that are being mailed to me pronto, and I uh, should have those any day now uh, from the home office of DocSports.com. Ran out, man. I was doing radio shows and certain books and casinos and people coming by and grabbing those uh, like they were water and you were stuck in the desert. That's how fast they were grabbing those up. So we'll be able to show you, give you a little example in the next few days on these videos. All right, as far as what's been going on for us, man, you know about the terrific run we had uh, 27 and 10 going into Tuesday and then I had a bad day just not a good day at all uh, we went 0 and 3 on Tuesday so uh, the record still good obviously over the past month or so but again we took a hit on Tuesday I had my six game win streak in the WNBA snapped I went 0 and 2 in baseball and uh, real bummed obviously about it all because we've been doing so well but anyway uh, we'll look to bounce back on Wednesday uh, unfortunately there's no WNBA on Wednesday so we'll look to return in that league on Thursday. We'll still take a 6-1 and one run with our last seven WNBA plays. We'll still take a 32-16-2 run in the WNBA with our last, what is that, 50 plays. And then in Major League Baseball, we look to bounce back one play on Wednesday. And I think this is a complete mismatch. I think there's serious value on this one premium play we have uh, for Wednesday over at DocSports.com. And that'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. We'll look to get right back on track and extend that red hot run that got us good as 27 and 8 at one point a couple of days ago. Bounce back Wednesday is what we'll call it. 
Uh, let's get oh, real quick also about football. Uh, of course, we've got NFL preseason week three, dress rehearsal week coming up this week. My plays, as well as everybody over at DocSports.com, will be posted for your availability on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And again, a quick note on that. If you're new to DocSports.com, uh, each and every week throughout the football season, our picks are posted 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific every Thursday for college football, the NFL, and the CFL. Don't forget about the CFL. So that's what we got going Thursday. As far as Wednesday, again, a big five-star play in Major League Baseball. And uh, again, we think it's a mismatch. And we think the, the value on our side is uh, about 30 cents off from where the actual line should be. So go check that out on WednesdayDocSports.com. Let's get to our free pick for Wednesday. Also turning to uh, Major League Baseball action. And we're going to back Marcus Stroman here in the New York Mets over the Cleveland Indians and in Pletko. Here's the thing about uh, Marcus Stroman. I know he hasn't been terrific yet in his so-called new digs, returning home and pitching for the New York Mets uh, since he was acquired from Toronto, but he's pitched well enough to keep his team in it, and then they've won all three games that he's starting. But you can see him getting better and better, more comfortable, so to speak, in his new digs and on his new mound with the New York Mets. We like him here at home. You look at what Plutko's done. It's just been miserable on the road for this kid for Cleveland. His home runs per nine innings pitched a ratio away from home in his last three starts starts is astronomical. He's given up five home runs in his last 17 and a third on the road covering his last three road starts. We don't think he finds the sweet elixir in this particular road start. We like Stroman uh, to help his team to their fourth straight win and his four starts. We're recommending to play on the New York Mets on Wednesday. That'll do it for us for Wednesday. Again, uh, go check out the uh, Doc Sports Journal. You can Google it. You can go over to the website, homepage, docsports.com and uh, follow the link to getting signed up and getting that. Again, it's only 11 bucks. Don't forget about our five-star baseball play on a Wednesday uh, as we look to pick up the win with a big value play for us on Wednesday's card. Again, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll get you some news and some line moves on Thursday's video for the upcoming NFL preseason dress rehearsal week. We'll talk to you then.